Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm so freaking excited. It is day one of Single Shadows Week. I've been hinting, and by hinting I mean like saying I'm doing this for a while now, and I finally have gotten enough, uh, you know, pre-recorded so I could actually do a week-long series. So we're gonna be doing seven days in a row. All of the videos are gonna be centered around single shadows in one way or another. And the first video I wanted to do was a what I'm using instead. I've been doing a couple of these, so I'll leave those down below, but there have been quite a few palettes that have kind of caught my interest. I think the color story is pretty, or maybe I'm actually like kind of considering buying and since I have a pretty sizable single shadow collection I like to take the time to dupe out color stories if I can see if it's something that I'm actually interested in a lot of the times I'll kind of take my own spin on it and, and do something different by no means am I saying that by buying all the single shadows that I might dupe a palette out with is that cheaper usually it wouldn't be but since I already have them it can stop me from making yet another makeup purchase and by doing this exercise of kind of shopping my stash seeing what I have I can figure out if the color story is actually something I'd like or if it's just like this fantasy I enjoy. I also can see if like the packaging and the brand and kind of the hype are the reasons that I want this instead of maybe the actual products and like the actual tangible use I'm gonna get out of them. And it's just fun, like I love doing this. This is like one of the joys of having a larger collection is I can get in there and like swatch and put my little fingers and everything and just have fun. So I hope it inspires you to maybe do the same if you're not wanting to buy everything, see if you can dupe them out, whether it's single shadows or whether it's pre-made palettes you already have in your collection. Also, if there is just one color you like, maybe I can show you one instead of you buying the whole palette. So without further ado, because I know this is gonna be a long video, let's get into the palettes I'm gonna create. There will be timestamps down below if you wanna skip around, and I also did do a tutorial with this look. So I hope you guys enjoy, and let's do it. All right, guys, so I've set out all my single shadows. They're in like a pretty mixed up order right now. I was just playing around and I had to rearrange stuff because I'm running out of space in my palettes. But let's start recreating some of the palettes I'm interested in. So the first palette on my list that I wanna create is the Sugar Pill C3 or Capsule 3 palette. This is in that black pill packaging. It's so cute. I really like it, but to try to like hold off a little bit. I've held off on all the capsule palettes so far. I do wanna see if I can create a similar color story and, and see if that's a color story I actually want to create looks with or if I'm being sucked in to sugar pill. I'm looking at a mix of the actual like palette as well as photos of swatches. So I'll probably go off of swatches almost. I feel like they're giving me like a better, more accurate representation. And it's gonna be kind of hard to put this palette together. This is a 10 eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna be fitting it into my 12 pan palette. It won't be in exact order, but this sugar pill palette is very odd shaped. So it would be tough to do that no matter what. Anyway, let's just start from the swatches bottom up. We're gonna start with Purgatory, which is a matte dark blue. I don't have a ton of stuff, honestly, in this color. I'm just gonna pull a few things that I think might work well. So these are the blues that I have at the moment. I don't have anything as deep. If this blue were matte, I think it'd be maybe my closest, but I don't have it. So in those cases, I tend to try to keep the spirit of the palette, but also do my own twist and kind of put my own spin on it. So let's swatch these out. This first one here is from Violet Voss. It was in one of the Best Life palettes. It's a really beautiful, like, royal blue, but it is not matte. So that's definitely, I feel like an issue with that one. Another one I decided to put in here, but again, it's not matte. So I don't think it's like the best choice. This is Nitro from Pretties For Your Face. It's like a duochrome, really sparkly shade. A similar feel to the sugar pill, but I don't think it's actually gonna like perform similarly. Okay, and then last, these three blues are all matte. This first one is a Mystic. This is from Colored Rain. Um, and it's a nice bright blue, like it's a, whoa. Okay, lots of powder. Um, it's really bright. I found these very odd um, in, when I was swatching them. Yeah, I haven't used them on the eyes yet. I just purchased them, so um, they will be a haul video soon, but that's very bright. Like definitely not the vibes of the palette. I don't think I'm gonna go with that, but I thought I would show you. Next is a shade from Itzy and it's called Ferion. It's so smooth, very deep. I remember using this in the past to like dupe some of the stuff from Subculture. So there's that one. I think that's looking like our best bet right now. And then the last one here is the shade Backstage from ColourPop. And this is just 
oh my gosh, I don't know, man, I'm just like picking up a lot of powder. But that is just like a classic like crayon blue. Not a ton of good options. Again, I do like this one still. Just wish it was matte. Let's go with Ferions. We're gonna go with that shade. Okay, next up to dupe is an actual shimmery blue. So I'm gonna bring out Nitro because I think that one would look really good. I also think that the shade Watermark would be a really good potential color. I want something that's really gonna shine. I mean, again, even that one from the Violet Voss palettes, Starry Night from Looksee is something that I think is really cool. Even Galaxy from Pretties for your face. So let's swatch all of these out and we'll see what they look like. All right, so here we have the swatches of all those blues. First up on this side, this is Galaxy from Pretties for Your Face. It's very, very sparkly. It has a nice, like, I don't know, it's very much like a topper. It's semi sheer, but does have a base to it. Really pretty, strong, strong contender. Next, again, we put Nitro in. This is was shown in the last one. That's this swatch here. This is like blue with a purple and gold shift. So a lot more like duochromeness going on with that shade. Then there's Watermark, which is right there, smack dab in the middle. This is just one of the most beautiful blue shades that there is on the planet. <laughs> it looks like the depths of the ocean in the best way possible. Again, we brought out that Violet Voss color, which is this shade here. And that one's more of like a metallic blue. And then last, this is Starry Night, which is the last one over here, this shade. And this one is definitely more purple with like a blackened base. So I don't know if that one's right for this shade. For me, it's between these two colors, but I think I'm gonna go with Galaxy just because I love like the shimmer and the shine that this gives. So that's the one I'm going to be putting in my palette. Next in the palette is the color called Hex, and this is a really beautiful, cool toned, deeper purple shade. I don't feel like I have a ton of these types of colors, but I'm gonna do my best to find something that I feel like would work pretty well. I think these are my best options. I know it's not a lot. I feel like purples are definitely where I have holes in my collection, but let's let's see what they are. Yet another pretties for your face. Can't you tell I'm excited about these ones? This is the shade Solstice and it's so beautiful. It has like a blue shift to it though, um, which is definitely different than in the palette. So that's it. It's definitely, I feel like lighter as well. And because of the shift, I don't feel like the purple shows up as much. Next, this is a color called November Rain from Luxie. Again, duochrome. Ooh, this one's really pretty. This might be it. I didn't think that, but I think it might be. Whoa, interesting. So there it is. It also has like that blue shift to it, but it has like a red base, but also purple. Really an interesting color. Like it has sheen to it, but it's not like textured or sparkly. I did pick one of my Cleona shadows. This one is, let's see, stencil, but this has like a pink reflex. So although it looks very um, like, cool toned, I find with that pink shift, it's, you know, it's kind of tricky. So in some lights, it's a little bit more cool, but then with the more magenta, pink, purple hits, it warms it up quite a bit. This is just another one of the Violet Voss. This is definitely more of a warm purple, but again, I just don't have a ton of options. So I thought I'd put it in. I felt like this was gonna be the most like actually purple shade. And you can tell with all these swatches that it is. It's the most actually purple. And then last, this is a duochrome shade from the Dynamic Duos collection from Shine by SD. These I find with most of the Shine by SD, but especially these more topper type shades, they're very dry. So I find using these to tap on, like they don't swatch the best, but tapping on the eye over other colors or over bases, I find they work so beautifully. So anyway, that is that, well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I feel like in the pan, it's a better shot, but um, that's gonna be out the running. And now to pick the one I think would go best in the palette. Oh, it's so tough. I really don't have anything, you guys. I think I'm gonna go with November Rain. Um, I think it just, this is a very deep palette and I think it goes well with that. So I don't know, are they all too similar? Would this be better? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's see these swatch next to each other. 
Oh yeah, those are definitely different. I'm gonna actually go with Solstice, okay? Pretty's for your face, one out. So I put in Solstice, which was this color. Definitely lighter though. I didn't have anything even close. Next, we have a matte purple and a matte pink. I think I'm gonna try to pick these colors up together and that way I can also make sure that they're different enough from each other. So let me pick some colors out. All right, so this is what I feel like is the best representation of the different pinks and purples in these tones in my collection. Not a lot, you guys, not a lot. So Coven and Gloomy. Gloomy is more of a pink, which I feel like off the bat, this one seems the best for, for Gloomy. It's definitely like that pinky purple. I actually think that's a pretty good dupe. The other one that's kind of similar is 143, um, but this is, it's definitely more purple. So I don't think 143 from ColourPop is gonna work. This is from one of the little mini ColourPop palettes and I depotted it a while ago, so I'm not exactly sure which one, but I think I'm gonna just pull that for Gloomy and maybe I'll put it down here. Now when I'm trying to find something for Coven, it is just tough. I don't have anything, again, like that. So I want to try to go maybe deeper. This one's looking, I, it's more like wine or raspberry, but I think it's kind of more what I want and also what I think works with it. I just wish it was a little bit more purple. These are, they're too bright. They're too bright. I do want to keep some of, like, look, not even close. This is from Violet Voss. This is Snack from Luxy. It's more, you know, purple, but it's like a uh, warmer purple. This is another colored rain in Ladyship. This one's, again, more like berry, just not the right one. So we're going to go with another color pop. We're gonna go with that one. Again, from a depotted palette. We have a pretty good idea going. I think this is such a pretty color story like on its own. I think it's so pretty. Continuing on though, now we're getting into some of the lighter colors. So we have a light pink, that's a shimmer. We have a peach. Next is a light pink shimmer or like a hot pink shimmer actually is what I guess I'd call it. I don't have a ton of these truly. Let's see, I'm gonna try to pull all my hot pink shimmers. Honestly, that's it. <laughs> I have three that I feel like would even be close to working. This first one here, this is from JD Glow. It is the shade AKA and it's beautiful. It's like a hot pink, but it does have a golden reflect to it. Oh, that's so pretty. So you can see it there. And then when the light really hits it, it really reflects. This next one is the shade Spotlight. It's kind of similar in that it has that pink base, but then it reflects instead like a purple. So you can like, look, that doesn't even look pink, but then on its side, you can see the pink. And then last, another mini little guy from ColourPop. These have come so in handy when I'm doing these videos. This is more of a satin. Uh, it's very hot pink. This is not gonna give me quite the shine that I feel like this palette deserves, honestly. So it's pretty easy to me. I'm gonna go with the JD Glow. I think that's definitely the most similar that I have in my collection. And I think it fits the palette nicely. I'm even doing the different sized pans in here. Look at me go. <laughs> Next, we need a matte peach. I probably have a million of these like matte peaches I could pick from. So I'm gonna pick, I think the best ones and I'll show you what I think will be best. Okay, thought that was gonna be easier. I can tell you that much. I don't know if I'm missing shadows or what's going on, um, but these are the only two that I had and they're not nearly as peach as I thought. I'm really like combing over everything, but even that it's just too light. It needs more orange, so that's not gonna work. Wow. Okay, well, let's just see. Let's watch these out. This is Flower Boy by ColourPop. I'm not sure if they even have this shade anymore. So that's Flower Boy. I like that color a lot. Um, this doesn't have a thing, but it's by ColourPop. And um, let's see, maybe it's Flower Boy. Hmm, probably. <laughs> it's probably Flower Boy. In these two swatches, I think I'm gonna actually go with the real Flower Boy. It's a little bit lighter, like just slightly. That makes it look a little bit more peach than pink. So I'm gonna go with Flower Boy. Okay, so far, it's not looking like the palette, I can tell you that much. Wow, the hand staining is real. The next shade is a really beautiful, like peachy golden color. I have so many beautiful Shine by SD shades that I think will do this justice. Like, ooh, yeah, that one's like perfect. Like, I feel like 
I already found it immediately. Potentially this one. I didn't realize it's kind of looking a little weird. We'll have to investigate that a little closer. Honestly, I just know I want this one, but I'm gonna swatch this Pretties for Your Face. This is the shade Angelica, and it's really quite beautiful, but it has, like, do you see the color on it? How it's like lighter in the middle, and then on the edges, it's like more orange. It's kind of weird. The Shine by SD1, this is called Impress Me. This is so perfect. I think this is the perfect shade, you guys. There it is, that's the one. That is the one. So perfect. Two more colors left. Grim is like this swampy yellow mustard with like a tinge of green and brown in it. And then we also have Oogie. I think it's like Boogie Oogie. I think it's Oogie. And this is like an olivey green. So I'm gonna pick those shades and uh, we can get these last two colors put in the palette. Well, would you look at that? I really only have two. <laughs> I have the two colors. I feel like these are just the best. So why sit here and like pretend? So this has a ton of hard pan. Hi, this is from ColourPop. It's Paper Tiger. I can still get color off of it, but I find just with these colors, for whatever reason, they always get hard pan. So that is gonna be my dupe for the color Grim. I believe it's Grim. And then the other one that I have here for that olive green, this one's from Sydney Grease. It's called Wildlife. And I believe I got this in the Mountain Trail bundle. I'm not sure if it's available separately, but this is very similar, I feel like, to the Oogie shade. That's definitely gonna be the one that I put in here. What I'm gonna do is try to arrange them a little bit more like how they are in the palette and see how that goes. Also just actually fit them all in. Okay, I think that's like the kind of closest I can do it. I kind of want to do them all a little off so that they can more resemble the sugar pill palette because I feel like there's way less order in there. So maybe more like that or something. Okay, so that is my palette. Uh, okay, looking at it, I think it's semi-similar, but definitely not as close as I would honestly like to the sugar pill palette. And I find sometimes with these exercises, it's really interesting because if you would have asked me, I would have been like, oh yeah, I have all those colors so easy. But then I look at this and I, <laughs> it was definitely tougher than I thought. So anyway, I am going to swatch this out so we can see my swatches compared to the swatches and maybe in swatches it'll look better or more similar or less similar. We shall see. All right guys, so here are the swatches. What do you think? I actually think it was closer than I thought. And seeing it swatched on my arm, this is way brighter and it's really quite pretty. I actually really like it and I would have never thought to put them all together, but like this quad here I think is just so, so beautiful. And then like all these just work really nice together as well. And here's a bit of a close up of all the swatches. We had some casualties in the pan, but I'd love to know what you guys think of my version of the palette. How do you think it is compared to the original? Um, and other than that though, let's move on to the next palette. That one took a while. All right, let's work on a smaller palette this time. I really wanted to do the Pat McGrath uh, what is this called? Celestial Divinity Quad. And the one that I really love is Interstellar Icon. So beautiful. I don't know what it is, but the blue and like that cooler brown and this burgundy and this kind of peachy champagne. I love it all. I want it all. So let's try to dupe it. It's gonna be a little tough, I think. I don't think I have like exactly it, but I'm just gonna do my best. I have like a ton of different pictures I'm working off of. And so we'll see what I can do. First, let's start with the blue. I'm bringing out some blues we just saw. We we just saw these guys, but Watermark, I mean, it just already looks like it. I also think that Galaxy probably would work really well from the palette we just created, but honestly, I kind of just want Watermark to be the color. I'm so attracted to Watermark, but I'm also so attracted to the blue in there, and I think it's like this perfect way to be like, hey, you have a pretty blue you wanna use, so use that instead of buying the other one. So we're gonna put that blue in first. And that's, I believe, where it goes in the palette. Next, I wanna find this really beautiful, like, taupey bronze. It's more of a cool tone bronze than a warmer bronze. So this is one of my cooler palettes at the moment. I have something kind of like this. It's like a cool golden color. I don't really feel like the other colors really do it in there. There's also this color, maybe. Uh, 
Wow. I never really go neutral, so I feel like this one's tougher than I thought. Seriously. Wow, I'm like proving to myself I need all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay, those are my closest dupes, you guys. What in the world? What in the world is happening here? So the first shade here, this is Snake Eyes from ColourPop. It's a beautiful taupe. I don't know if it's quite the bronze, like it's a little bit too light. I would have loved it to be a little bit deeper, uh, but that's kind of what I'm working with here. And then the other shade I have is this color called Bitch Fit. And this is like a golden, I feel like this is maybe closer. Yeah, I think, I think Bitch Fit's closer because it has more of a darker, it's like a darker base, but it's more gold. Hmm. Oh, now for the hard decisions. What do I put in? I'm gonna take a look. I don't know, I don't like any of these. What about, okay, I'm gonna bring in something I wouldn't, I wasn't expecting, but I feel like this looks like the other color. This is Max Antiqued, really pretty. It's more of that burgundy though, you know? It's kind of in between actually of those two. So I don't think that that's right either. I'm just, now I'm just going crazy. Okay, let's just, let's do Bitch Fit. I think I'm gonna pick Bitch Fit. It's not right, it's not right, um, but it's gonna go in the palette. And that one goes underneath the blue. Now we're gonna look at this kind of burgundy shade. It's almost this satin kind of metallic. Again, it's looking like I don't really have that. So I'm gonna look at this color. This is chocolate from Colored Rain. There's almost a burgundy quality. No, there's not. It's just a nice brown. We also, like I said, have antiqued. This is a MAC shade. I love like the red. This is kind of getting hard pan. It has like a red to it. Raise your hand if you hate hard pan. I like this. It also has like the right amount of sheen. It just needs a little bit, I feel like, more red to be more true, but it might be my best option. I'm looking around desperate here for something else. The only other thing I can think is this one from Violet Voss, and this came again in those palettes, but this is more of like a red brown, but it's not uh, shimmery, it's more matte. So I don't know what to do. It's like a purple burgundy. It's like quite, maybe even this actually, looking at different pictures. This is a color from ColourPop. This is the shade Pinky Promise. Let's see that. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna go with that. Oh my gosh, okay, great. Didn't expect to get that win. It's a little bit more bright, but I think I like that. I think I like that. So let's put that one in. Thank you everyone for your contributions. All right, it's not over yet though. We still have one more shade and this one I feel like should be easy, but once again, I don't think it's going to be, because this is the thing, this almost could be that shade, right? Like the lighter champagne. So what are my options? I feel like Angelica is definitely an option. I feel like I could also switch out uh, this shade with Rover, but I think that's wrong. That's not right. No, maybe it is right. Hmm, okay, <laughs> that one. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna have to decide between this. So, um, this is Rover from Sydney Grace. That's like a nice cool toned color. I don't know. Okay, let's like take that, this one out. If we put that there, I feel like that matches some of the swatches I'm seeing. And then we have this like golden and I feel like that could be this Angelica shade. This one's again, kind of still weird because of the way some of it looks, but color wise it could work or we could do bitch fit, right? And make that the lighter one, but it's a little too dark. I really don't have a lot of the like lighter shimmer shades. They're just not what I've been into. And so I just always don't pick them up. But one of those would have been really great right now. I think I'm gonna just put Angelica in. I think that that sticks to the colors in the quad the best, honestly. I know it's weird because one of them is so abnormally large compared to the others, but let's swatch this out and see how it looks. So that is my quad. Okay, mm I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna show you some of the different swatches I'm comparing this against, and you guys can tell me what you think. This definitely looks like a ripped off version. <laughs> Like it does not look right. It's one of the ones like online would be the same picture, but then you get it and this is what you actually get. <laughs> That's what I think anyway. I don't think it's like bad. It's just not right. It's not right. Like the blue even is a little bit more has that purple, which I have some like that, but 
I wanted to fit watermark in here. I just, this doesn't have like the purple undertone. It's more red, but that's not right. This is not right either. It's all wrong. It's all off. So um, that's my uh, attempt though. That's my humble attempt. All right, guys, we have another small palette to create. This one's a nine pan and we're gonna be doing the ColourPop Mandalorian. You guys have asked for it and I wanted to do it. It's a cute little palette. The packaging I think is cute, but it wouldn't get me to buy it since I don't really know much about the Mandalorian. But the inside I think is actually a great color story. So I wanna recreate that and see what I have. That might be cool. I might do some of my own spins and takes on things just to make it more me. And I'm mostly going off this really beautiful swatch picture, which I'll put on the screen or probably have had on the screen. I just love the way that that swatched out. So I wanna do something like that. All right, so the first shade, Precious Cargo, is a really beautiful like light minty seafoam green. I feel like I have a few options and I feel like it's kind of similar to that second color, um, that almost like sagier green. So I'm gonna pick all the things I think would work for both of those. All right, so these are my options. I feel like I have a lot to work with. One of them's even matte. I decided to pull it just cause it looks like baby Yoda skin, seriously. So let's swatch these out. This first one here, this is from Luxie and it's called Limelight. This is one of my favorite inner corner shades. It has a really nice reflect to it um, of green. I love it. It's like subtle. It's a really great one. If everything else is neutral, this can still really pop. Another one from Luxie, this is Aquarius. It's similar, but has a, a more green shift and it has more of a mint base. So that one, is it there? It's kind of golden too. Next, this is one from Shine by SD. It's from the Golden Hour 2. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is called Tickle Me. That one is so pretty. I have a feeling that's gonna definitely make it in here somewhere. This is one from Cleona called Illumination. That one's also really beautiful. It has like a golden shift to it, but it almost goes clear at some points depending on where the light is hitting it. All right, and then last, this is a shade called Flytrap. It's a matte, and this is from Copacetic. The Copacetic mattes, like they do not swatch well. I still have yet to use this on my eye, so I'm not sure how this is actually gonna go on. Maybe if I do a look with this Inspired palette, I'll use this color so I can let you know. That's what I have going here. I just, I think the color is so good and perfect for this palette. Okay, so looking at my options here, I think that I'm gonna go, I don't know, I feel like I've already picked a couple different things actually when I'm looking ahead at the palette a little bit more and, and what I have here. I think this one from Shine by SD um, works really well actually for one like for the fourth shade. So that's probably what that's gonna be. I think I'm gonna go with Limelight for that inner corner. I think it just works really well. As for that second shade, I think I'm gonna go with the other Luxie shadow, um, this more like green mint one. I just like the look of that in the palette and I think it'll look nice. And then I'm jumping even further ahead because I know already I don't have any greens that are gonna go in that center spot. So I'm gonna put Flytrap in there. So we've already created so much of the palette already so fast. Just based off of what I know I have, I think those are gonna be my best options. So might as well just do them all right now. The one we're missing though, let's go for this matte warm brown. Literally could be anything you wanted. I have a lot of options I feel like for this type of color. The one that's just like calling out to me is Bel Air. Oh my gosh, I knew this was Bel Air. That's, that feels good when you know your collection. So this is Bel Air from ColourPop. I just think it's a nice neutral. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. And that's the color I was thinking. It's the color that looked the best also, and they were one in the same. Whoa, I'm so good. Next on my list, wow, this one came together so fast. This one here is a really interesting color. It's like a goldenish duochrome. I do have some options. These are all from Shine by SD. There's this one here. There's also that one. I think those look cool, and I think they'd work well. If you had the shade Tea Garden, from um, ColourPop, I think that would work too. I'll swatch it out for you guys. I really would like something though with a bit of that golden and green shift, which something like this, honestly. This is what I have, this is what we're gonna work with and pick from these. When I'm looking at this shade, the quality I really love about it is you can see on the edges of the swatch that there's like this red undertone. So it has like a green, gold, and red all going on. And I would like to find something that really captures that. I know that my JD365 shadow is gonna do it. Like it just is, 
pretty much the perfect color and it has the sparkle and the shine and everything you'd need like you can see the red and the green see it on the edges there okay perfect but let's try shine by SD this is turn your back oh this one is like like dirty money that one's just kind of straight up gold it doesn't see it doesn't have the red and that's the red is what I really think is interesting then we have this shade called tickle bear this is more of like this is even more dirty money or like dirty olive oh yeah that's not the shade it's pretty but not what we're looking for this time and then just i wanted to show you guys tea garden because i think this is a good option if you already have it and that's like the one color you want this could be a good one and it's from ColourPop. so that is tea garden see how it has the gold and then it also has the red it's a really great option, but this is so much more sparkly, but it doesn't fit into my palette. <laughs> That's the color I want in there. Okay, so I'm gonna have to reevaluate um, where I'm putting this stuff. So I'm gonna do that really fast, resituate myself. Okay, visually, I know this doesn't look the best, but um, it's gonna have to work for now. Let's finish up the last row though. These are all matte. We're looking for like a olive green, a deeper forest green, and then a really beautiful chocolate brown. And I think I have some really good options just off the bat, so let me pull them out. All right, so you can see I kind of did my own little thing here, but let's let's look at them. Um, we'll start with the ones that I just have one option. So this is from Colored Rain. We already saw this earlier. It's chocolate. It doesn't have quite the red, but kind of, I don't know. I think it's just nice and rich. Oh my gosh, these shadows. I don't know how I pick up so much on my finger, but I do. Anyway, I think it'll be really great. I think it works for the palette. It's a brown. You know, it's good to go. Next is a forest green. This one's Sydney Grace's Trailhead. This has shown up in a lot of my videos, I feel like. It's a really nice dark green, uh, but the green definitely pulls through. It doesn't have a lot of blue in it, but I think it's nice. I do have this like more blue green. That one's from a Violet Voss single, but I think I like this one better. All right, and now we can see that I picked shimmers instead of a matte for this next color. One, because I just didn't have it, and two, um, I don't know. Ooh, let me put this one in actually too, just for some texture. Okay, <laughs> so I just, this is where my own spin comes in. I didn't have anything exactly like this. I don't know. It's like a more yellow olive green. I believe in the palette it's called Little Frog. So what I picked instead, this is a shadow from Sydney grace called escape i think this is probably the most similar in terms of actual like shade but this is obviously a shimmer so there's that one i don't know if it's going to be the one i just threw this one in here it's from cleona this is called gecko's tail i got this with my order because it took forever for them to send it so they sent a little extra in the package this is definitely more like green green you know i think it works for the palette potentially but Maybe I have something already kind of similar in the palette like that. This one's from JD Glow. It's one of my newer shadows. I just was like, can we do it? Can we put this in? I mean, oh, it's so pretty. This is prismatic. Oh my gosh. Like, I just love that. This just inspires me. This is the fun part, I feel like, of creating my own palettes. That's like, I can choose at this moment to be like, oh, hell yeah, I'm gonna put that one in <laughs> instead of having whatever the palette just gives you naturally. So this is like, I'm probably gonna do it. This would be kind of fun though. This is one of the copacetic like pressed flakes. I have played with these a little bit more and you can make them work. They're kind of, they're just difficult. I think flakes in general are difficult, but I don't think pressing them makes them literally any easier. Potentially it makes them worse to deal with. They're so chunky and so it's best to like, it just doesn't work for a swatch. You definitely wanna like tap these on your glitter glue, you know? So that's the best I could do. Um, I think I just have to go with that one. I thought this would be fun and I do think it'd be a really cool look. And maybe if I was just like, you know, keeping this palette for later and wanted to add one extra shadow to my magnetic palette, I'd add that one in. But for the sake of the video, I think I'm gonna go with Prismatic. <laughs> So let's like scoot some stuff over and see if we can fit this in. Okay, it's not really working. I need to figure this out. I think it'll look best if I can show it in its proper form. So you can take a look at it here, but before we swatch it out, I'm gonna change it 
once again to something so you can really see it laid out correctly. Okay, so here we are. It's still freaky and weird looking, but it is my little uh, Baby Yoda palette. It's super cute. I really like the color story. I think it's really fun. I'm glad and excited to have been inspired by that palette to make my own in my collection. And this is the only one so far that I feel like completely satisfied with where I don't need that other one, even though I don't have exact colors. Like I don't need that, I have this. Oh my gosh, how cute. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So let's swatch it out. All right, there it is. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at how pretty it is. I definitely have some brighter greens going on, but I love that. That's making it way more me. And I think this Shine by SD one, ooh, it works so perfect for this palette. Here are my swatches compared to the other palette. I don't think it's the same, but I don't care. You know what I mean? Like I like mine. So you'll have to let me know what you guys think. I have one more palette I'm gonna do. I was gonna do five, but I know this video is getting long. So there's always more dupes I can do. Let's just do one more. And this one is gonna be the Beetlejuice palette. I wanna do the, it's the recently deceased. That's the, that's the palette I wanna do. It's the one that has the really beautiful greens. It has the purples. And I just wanna do my best to create this, recreate it. I know for this one, I'm also going to be doing kind of my own thing. And I'm totally fine with that um, because there are some changes I would want to make to this if I were to get it for myself. So let's start pulling. I'm gonna pull just a bunch of like greens and yellows that I can pick from for that first row. Okay, I picked a lot of greens. <laughs> I picked a lot of stuff. Um, and I think I can know one immediately. So this one here, I'm definitely using. I've used this in so many videos. This is the color Fireflies from Stars Makeup Haven, and it's no longer available. Like the whole brand doesn't exist. Shout out if you uh, remember All Cosmetics Wholesale. I bought this off of All Cosmetics Wholesale mm, seven years ago, <laughs> a long time ago. And it's like my favorite shadow, like ever. I love it. It's so perfect and acidy yellow green for this palette. I think it's, Stunning and so perfect and I love it. And I use this in so many palettes. The next color in here is like a darker green and I think we definitely want a darker green in here. So I'm like, what do I wanna do? What do I wanna do? And there's just so many options, you guys. This is one of the Cleona shadows, one of those like duochromatic ones or multi-chromatic. I just think this is so cool and it has a purple flip to it. It's like so perfect for a Beetlejuice palette. So I'm definitely like tempted to put that one in just for, I mean, you know, come on. I did pull this one, which we just used from JD Glow. It's called Prismatic. It's so like acidy green. It has like this yellow tinge to the outside, but this blue green in the center. Oh, I love that. I love that. I think I'm gonna use this as a matte. I just think it would be nice to at least have one matte in here. This one is from Violet Voss. I know it's not swatching super well. I think it'll go nicely. So that's definitely, those are some of my front runners here, these ones. But I wanna make sure I have a nice range of stuff in here too. I think the greens had a lot of differentiation to them, uh, the greens and yellows, but I didn't notice that as much from the other colors. So yeah, I think, okay, I'm gonna get put this one back in the palette. I won't do that one. What's this? This is such a pretty green. That one's from Colored Rain and this is the color Unexpected. I do really love that, I do. I like that one. I also have this really beautiful like yellow metallic. Ooh, it's like a green yellow metallic. Maybe the duochrome just, maybe it's just not, I'm trying to like fit it and it's like, it's really not right, you know? Okay, what if I put the unexpected color next and then I did this color there and then we need one other green, but we have no mattes. What about, is that green too weird? I feel like that's too weird. We need like, I don't know, it's all weird kind of. Let's see what this green looks like swatched out. Oh, wow. But I think that's nice to have something that's like so vibrant. I'm gonna go for it. I don't care. Okay, so that's gonna be my top row. I didn't even tell you what this is. This is Shine by SD Celebration. 
That's what that is. And now we're gonna pick the purples. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I do wanna put some mattes in this one, but I'm gonna switch it up a little bit more than what the purples they have in here, just because I can, so I'm going to. <laughs> but let's see, I'm gonna start pulling. Oh my gosh, I love all these purples so much. I'm excited to see how they swatch out. Um, and I like the different tones that I have. I think for sure I do wanna put this more cool toned purple in. It's a matte as well, so it'll be like one of the first mattes. This one here is kind of matte, but this one I have is just from Violet Voss. Ooh, I'm putting it right under the electric. Such good contrast there. I think it would be nice to have one more matte. So I think I'm between, this is a shade called uh, Orchid Copacetic. So there's that, my hand was a little wet. And then this I think is 143, yeah, from ColourPop. I think both of those are so pretty. Like I can see both of them working really well. This is just gonna add more contrast, I think, if we were to do that one instead. And I kinda like that. But maybe I'll put it there. I did pick one of the Cleona shadows. This one has like a duochrome to it. It's called Crown Glass. So it's like purple and blue. It's like everything all in one. I'm not sure if this one really fits or if I'm just like kind of, sh you know, shoehorning it in. Not sure, but I do like it. I also have this one. This is one of the ones from the Smoky Glow and Midas palette, but this is just the single. I think it's, it's either Nutty or Leno. I don't know. It doesn't have the name on the back. I think this one would be nice as like an inner corner. Um, and on the lid, depending on what kind of look you wanted. I kind of I kind of like that one in there. And then, I don't know. I guess I could do that. What do you guys think? It's kind of cool. I don't know. I'm not like in love with this, but I also don't know what else to do. Okay, I think, I think I am gonna go with this. Let me put my shadows away. All right, guys, so here is my palette. I definitely think it's different than the one that came out like the actual recently deceased palette. And I think what I've learned from this one is that I don't want this palette. I just like everything else about it, right? I love the vision and the vibes and the fact that the actual insides go with the actual outsides, that it's Beetlejuice. Like I'm buying into the fantasy more than I am the actual shadows and how I like the way that they look. At least so far, we could move these around and it could be a little bit more similar. Yeah, I think that's actually a little bit more accurate to the picture. Right now it's showing you blue, but for me, it's actually purple. So anyway, let me swatch out this palette for you guys. All right guys, so that's my palette. I think I did like what I set out to do with having like part of it purple and part of it green. I just, I don't know. I'm not feeling it a ton, honestly. If swatches have come out of this palette, I'll uh, put them next to this so you can see the difference. This palette to me is just an example. It really is. I love that I've come to this conclusion actually because of this video, that making it and actually like separating it from the packaging and the promo pictures and all the marketing really helped me to realize like I don't actually want this. I love like this duo. I think that's really cool looking. Um, I also like like this. <laughs> This duo here, I think that's kind of cool. Even that one, but I don't really love it all together. And I don't know if I'd get a ton of use out of that palette. I think I would have bought it for the hype for sure. So that's kind of cool, exciting, saving me some money. But thanks so much for hanging out with me while I do this. We're gonna move on to the look. I'm gonna do a look using this palette in case you guys picked this up. You can do it with me at home or do something similar maybe, give you some inspiration. But yeah, let's move on to the tutorial. All right, let's get started using our little Baby Yoda palette, at least my version of it. I'm so excited. I've already primed my eyes and I know the first shade I want to use is this flytrap shade because I haven't used this shade before from Copacetic and I feel like they just swatch kind of weird so this will be a moment to know if the swatch actually means anything so I'm just gonna use that as my transition I don't know if my brush had something on it this is a for sure clean brush because it's just turning very like it's just deeper than I expected. But anyway, we're gonna blend that out. I'm gonna be putting this on the inner and outer corner and also in the crease. 
I think I'm gonna do a halo eye. I haven't really decided all the way yet. So far it's blending out really nice though. It's maybe a little bit deeper than I expected. Like it's I don't know, I think it's sinking into my primer a little, but edge-wise, it looks really good, so I can't really complain. And I think that's just proof that like swatches are not everything. They really aren't when it comes to performance and how they're gonna look put on with a brush, put on more sheerly and built up differently than how you would in a finger swatch. So I'm really glad to see that they do not perform super weird. I think I'm just gonna go straight in with the dark green on the inner and outer corner. I think I wanna use this JD Glow shadow, I think in the center. So this will be nice contrast to that. And I'm taking a denser brush and I'm just gonna start packing that on the inner and outer corner. Hopefully we don't have any issues blending on top of that copacetic shade. And this is just like a dark matte green. I'm just laying down first and then I'll blend out more with a different brush. I'm taking a little fluffy blending brush. This one's from Refer, it's the PO7C. I sometimes get asked about what I'm using. I'm going to be tapping between the dark shade and that green that we already laid down as a transition, just to kind of blend out the edges here, just for something a little bit more seamless. And then as I have like less on the brush, I'm kind of taking it in that center of the crease and blending between the two sides. All right, I'm gonna take the bigger fluffy brush we already used, going back into the light green just on the outer edges to blend again. I think I'm ready at this point to take the glitter glue. I'm gonna put that in the center of my eye and I take it up pretty far because I like that look. And then I'm gonna take my finger, taking, oh my God, this is such a green look, holy shit. And I'm gonna be putting that in the center and then as I have less product, I'm gonna be taking that on the inner and outer corner, just kind of blending over the matte color. I was scared that was gonna look bad. <laughs> I was, yeah, I got really nervous there for a second, like this is so green, but I really love the way it's looking. You guys, love. And what I like about these types of halo eyes is like, as you have less on your finger and you're tapping on the inner and outer corner, it kind of just like melts it all together. And so you still have the depth, but there's still like a shimmer over it. It's so pretty. Who knew green could be so freaking pretty? All right, just to make sure everything's as blended as possible, I'm taking that more dense like shader brush we were using. A little bit of product, I'm just tapping gently. Light pressure where the two meet just to help blend. Like this eye looks especially good. That one looks, just, this one's not as good. <laughs> All right, so that's where we're at. I think it looks pretty blended. I'm pretty sure anyway, we're gonna keep moving on. For the lower lash line, what do we wanna do? I'm gonna use liner and I'm just gonna smudge that on the outer half, matching it up to the upper lash line. I'm gonna take the brush we used, the dense one, and blend that out. It has some of that green on it, but keeping it very close, I don't want it to get too smudgy. All right, for the inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the limelight shade. I just, I love this. I'm a sucker for it on the inner corner. A highlight, but it's definitely green. I always take my inner corner highlight down pretty far, so you don't have to do that. I just like it. I'm gonna add some mascara and that'll be the look. All right guys, so here is the final look with mascara and everything. Oh my God, did you ever think green eyeshadow could look so good? I didn't think so. It's just like the star of the show and it looks so good topped over the, the darker shade because it adds like more of that blue shift and it's just amazing. It looks amazing. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed what I'm using instead. I hope you enjoyed building some palettes with me. And of course, I hope it gives you some inspiration to pull some shadows within your collection. What do you have in existing palettes? Maybe if you have some single shadows, what is tempting you and see if you can recreate it. See if you are already attracted to those colors and maybe you can save yourself a little bit of money in the now and you can save it for something in the future you might like even more. So that's it for day one of Single Shadows Week. I'm really excited for all the videos to come. So I hope you guys are too. And other than that, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.